Why don't they play hide and seek in Moldova? Because good luck hiding when you're already off the map. Welcome to our journey through Moldova, Europe's best kept secret. Nestled between Romania and Ukraine, this little gem is packed with uncharted charm and mystery. It's a land where the past intertwines with the present, creating a unique blend of cultures, flavors, and experiences. So if you're intrigued by the idea of visiting Europe's least touristy country, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. What's your favorite off the beaten path destination? Drop it in the comments below. If you thought France had the monopoly on wine, think again. Welcome to the wine wonderland of Moldova, where the grape juice flows faster than the Dniester River. Now let's talk about the immense wine cellars. Picture this, you're driving along and suddenly you're in a wine cellar. That's right, these cellars are so vast they have roads named after grape varieties. You'd need a GPS to navigate them. As for the amount of wine produced, let's just say it's enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool, 70 times over. You'd need to hire a team of Olympic swimmers just to make a dent in it. But it's not just about quantity, it's about quality too. With over 500 varieties of grapes, Moldova is a vino virtuoso, creating some of the most exquisite wines in the world. So, if you've got a wine cellar at home, it's time to step up your game. Ever heard of a cave that doubles as a monastery? No, this isn't the start of a bad joke. Welcome to the Orheil Vecchi Monastery, a jaw-dropping spectacle hewn right out of the towering limestone cliffs of Moldova. Imagine this, a group of determined monks in the 13th century decided to carve out a place of worship, right in the belly of the earth. Talk about dedication. This monastery is not just a testament to the monks' devotion, but also a marvel of ancient architecture. The monks didn't just stop at creating a sanctuary, they went on to carve out living quarters, a kitchen, even a dining area. And all of this nestled within the heart of a cliff. But the Orheil Vecchi Monastery isn't just about the past. Even today it continues to be a place of worship, drawing in those seeking serenity and a connection with the divine. Now, that's what I call a real-life man cave. What's the capital of Moldova? Don't worry, Google isn't watching. Now let's dive into the heart of Moldova, an urban jewel known as Chisinau. This capital city is a delightful blend of the modern and the traditional, the fast-paced and the leisurely. Its streets are adorned with a unique mix of Soviet-era and contemporary architecture, each structure narrating a tale of the city's rich history. But Chisinau is not just about buildings and history. It's a city that lives and breathes in its green spaces. Parks, gardens, and tree-lined boulevards paint the city in different shades of green, creating a serene and tranquil atmosphere. The city's vibrant nightlife, however, brings a stark, exciting contrast. With a variety of restaurants, bars, and clubs, Chisinau lights up as the sun sets, offering entertainment that caters to every taste. So, if you're planning your next adventure, remember this. Chisinau, a city so green, you might mistake it for a salad. If you think your home security system is impressive, wait till you see Soroka Fortress. Perched majestically on the Dniester River's banks, this formidable fortress is a testament to Moldova's rich past, a beacon of resilience through centuries of tumult and change. Now imagine being a medieval intruder trying to breach these walls. You'd probably have a better chance of winning the lottery while being struck by lightning on a leap day. Built in the 15th century, Soroka Fortress was a crucial defensive structure, with its stone walls and towers standing firm against countless invasions. Legend has it that the fortress was so impregnable, invaders often resorted to simply asking for directions and hoping to get lost in the surrounding countryside instead. And let's not forget about the moat, a classic feature in any self-respecting fortress. It was essentially the medieval equivalent of a no trespassing sign, but with more crocodiles. So the next time you feel like complaining about your home security, remember Soroka Fortress. Ever been to a country that doesn't exist? Welcome to Transnistria. This intriguing land is a breakaway state from Moldova, and let me tell you, it's quite the adventure. Transnistria is like stepping into a time capsule from the Soviet era. It's a snapshot of the past, where Lenin statues still stand tall and the hammer and sickle are emblazoned on the flag. You might feel like you've been transported back to the Cold War, 
and that's part of its charm. This self-declared republic is a world of its own, with its own currency, the Transnistrian ruble. That's about as useful outside of Transnistria as monopoly money. And here's another fun fact. It's a country that's not recognized by the United Nations. Talk about an exclusive club. But despite these quirks, it's a place of warm hospitality and fascinating tales. So if you're up for an adventure, why not take a trip to the country that defies time and space? Transnistria, the country that's stuck in a time warp. Ever heard of Gagauzia? No? Don't worry, you're not alone. Nestled in the heart of Moldova, this autonomous region is a treasure trove of unique culture and traditions that never fail to tickle the funny bone. Let's take a whimsical walk through Gagauzian life. Imagine a place where vodka is considered a cure-all and where the local language is a delightful melange of Turkish, Russian, and Bulgarian. Here, you'll find grandmothers who can outdrink anyone at a party and traditional wrestling matches that often end in laughter rather than bruises. In Gagauzian weddings, it's customary for the bride and groom to share a loaf of bread, symbolizing unity. But here's the twist. The person who takes the bigger bite is declared the boss of the household. Now, that's a competition you won't see on any sports channel. Gagosia, where East meets West and everything gets a bit confused. Ever got lost in a wine cellar? In Krikova, it's a rite of passage. Welcome, dear adventurers, to the labyrinthine marvel that is the Krikova wine cellars. This vast underground city of wine, spanning over 120 kilometers, is more than just a storage place for the liquid gold. It's a world teeming with stories waiting to be uncorked. Picture this. A visitor, let's call him Bob, embarks on an exploration of this vast vinous vault. Bob, armed with nothing but a wine glass, stumbles upon a bottle of 47 Cabernet. He uncorks it, takes a sip, and voila, he's temporarily lost in a time capsule of taste, oblivious to the world above. And then there's Alice, who took a wrong turn at the Pinot Noir and ended up in the sparkling wine section, only to stumble upon a wine-tasting party in full swing. So folks, remember, Krakowa, the only place where getting lost can lead to a delightful wine discovery. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. And by woods, we mean the stunning Kodru Forest of Moldova. This forest is a riot of color and life, a veritable symphony of biodiversity. It's like Mother Nature got a bit carried away and decided to cram as many species as possible into one place. The Kodru Forest is home to over 1,000 plant species. Yes, you heard it right, over 1,000. You could spend an entire day here and not see them all. And the wildlife? Oh, it's a hoot, literally. From the hooting of the owls to the rustling of the squirrels, it's like a never-ending wildlife party. Did you know that a fox once tried to join a group of tourists for lunch? True story. Or that a deer was spotted doing a solo dance routine? Only in the Kodru forest, folks. So pack your picnic baskets, lace up your hiking boots, and get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Kodru forest, where mother nature went to town. So there you have it, folks. Moldova in all its obscure, offbeat glory. We've taken you through a whirlwind tour of this little-known Eastern European gem, unearthing its secrets one by one. First, we delved into the Moldovan mystery, peeling back the layers of a country often overlooked, but brimming with untold stories and rich history. Then, we sipped our way through the wine wonderland, where vineyards stretch as far as the eye can see, and the wine flows like water. We journeyed deep into the cave monastery chronicles, where faith and history intertwine in the heart of the earth. We got caught up in the capital city capers, hustling and bustling through the vibrant streets of Chisinau. We then ventured into the fortress fables, where the stone walls whisper tales of knights, battles, and ancient civilizations. The Transnistrian tales led us to a self-proclaimed country within a country, a place where time seems to have stood still. Our laughter echoed through the Gagauzia giggles, as we got a glimpse of the unique culture and traditions of this autonomous region. We found ourselves lost in the labyrinth of the Krakova Cellars comedy, where wine barrels outnumber people. Finally, we immersed ourselves in the Kodru forest fun, where nature's splendor reigns supreme, and the air is filled with the rustling of leaves and the songs of birds. So what's stopping you from packing your bags for Moldova? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and remember, the world is full of hidden gems waiting to be discovered.